This is a 99 Toyota 4Runner, the travel code P0171. I'm getting a lot of these, but I love them. They're awesome. Give me all of them you want to give me. It's fine. On this one, it's got the 3.4 liter. We're doing a couple of things on it. We're doing a tune-up. It's got to have those special plugs with the double ground strap. Uh, I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like when they need to be replaced. This had a code P3, P0306 and P0303. Had misfires on both of those. Let me get it to see. It looks like a knife blade in the middle instead of being square. You really can't see on these flip cams. They're not that great for close ups or for far away. They're great for face shots and vlogging and stuff, so might as well use it for that, huh? So anyway, let's cut to business. Here's how you do this. Uh, what the code is, is you got crud on your mass airflow sensor. You can buy a new one for about 85 bucks aftermarket, about three, 400 bucks from the dealership, or you can just clean it like I'm about to show you. I like to take off the front part of the intake boot, so I pull that hose, Pull this one, loosen this bolt, loosen this one, give it a good healthy wiggle. If you're raised on the form, just think of calves, calf handling. The, don't ask. <laughs> you take out a couple of bolts here and here on the cruise control. There's another one down on the front. I've already pulled that off. You lay that aside. Um, I did have this stage pretty good, but it looks like they put it together a little too good when I was doing it. You pull off the harness there, you unbuckle the plug. Uh, once you unbuckle the plug, you'll see that there's two screws on either side. Let's get this cruise control out of the way. Let's move it aside. You got a screw here and a screw here. You pull those out, and then the mass airflow sensor is just this little guy right here. Now, as you can see, it's got that little bit of a bulb thing. I've got it centered in the frame right there. As you look at it from this side, it's brown and gross. Look at it from this side, it's kind of yellow and glows a little bit. Should glow a little bit from both sides. So take that, get your good old fashioned Western Family isopropyl alcohol. If you can't find Western Family, some other brands will do, I'm sure. So put a little in the lid, I don't double dip. So that's why I've got so many of these tips I've got four swabs I can use and you just gently brush it with the isopropyl alcohol and basically what that does is it cleans it off so that it's just pretty much sterile but it doesn't uh, affect the compound that is at the base of that I've heard people using brake parts cleaner but that stuff tends to eat everything so I wouldn't recommend that I'd recommend the isopropyl alcohol Engine lights on, your car's running crappy, it's got a really rough idle, and it just doesn't have the pickup that it used to have. You want to get your codes read and see if that's what it is. This had six codes, four of them were from the spark plugs misfiring because they're just old. They're all, you know, blade shape instead of cylindrical in the center electrode. And the other two codes were the P0171, which is just a lean code. could also be a vacuum leak. I see that from time to time, but almost all the time, like with this one, you just get a uh, mass airflow sensor that reads like this. And basically, it winds up going lean because it can't sense the air coming through. So it thinks that there's no air coming through, so it allows for lots and lots of it. And it makes your air fuel mis mixture lean. So... Anyway, hope that's helpful. Cheers. Have fun.